And hello, a quick rundown of the 4 star run of this map. It took me a couple of days, but I lowered it from 7 to 6 operators. The setup is mostly copied from the previous 7 operator record, I'll link it in the comments. When I was doing this on stream I struggled a lot with the slugs, even with Humus, Estelle, Ethan, all of them together had a lot of problems killing them. But that's because I wasn't using a particular operator, namely Pinecone. She is amazing against the slugs, they die in a few hits from her, and with skills she can inst instant kill them no matter how many there are. We use the bomb device to because it gets a taunt, so the boss keeps attacking it with the spell. That way we don't have to deal with it for the most part. And next to Tage kills the two defenders at the top, Deep Cower kills the three defenders in the middle. Moose is here to deal with the bottom lane and because we will need her for the style setup later. And finally Matuimaru to deal with the boss and tank him in phase 2. We delay deploying Matuimaru as long as possible, but before the boss reaches Pinecone's range. We want to delay when the boss dies because his stun is annoying. Moose just barely 1v1 with Perfumer. Sometimes she will die because she will miss the debuff and the guys will get their full damage off. That's why we use Perfumer as one to cover that window for all three of them. That way it's relatively safe. Once Utage is done with the defenders, we immediately retreat her because we'll need her for the crushers that come down the lanes. Pinecone does a few tentacles can kill them, but we can't afford to spend a few tentacles. We'll need them later. The car on the top is almost dead, we'll need to replace it soon. We get stuns all over the place. The stuns actually help a bit on the bottom, because Moose is very close to killing one of the pool residues. If she kills it, it buffs this guy and then it becomes a huge problem. We make sure to block with Utage instead of the tentacle, because this guy does a lot of damage. The tentacle won't tank for long, and that way Utage gets more damage. We hold Pinecone until all the slugs make it inside, and then we nuke them all. Once Utage is done, we retreat her for later, and we drop a tentacle to tank the boss. Matuimaru will probably die, there is too much damage for Perfumer to hold heal. But we want to delay when she dies, she needs to survive for at least some time, otherwise the damage will get too overwhelming. Now we don't block the boss this time, because there's another slug coming from the altar, and we don't want Matuimaru to block it. So we capture that, that way the boss gets blocked on Matuimaru, and the slug can walk through. The moment the device dies, we replace it with another one, because the boss is about to use his skill. And then we just hold Pinecone until the slugs walk into range. Finally, Utage helps clean up all of the enemies at the top. And Motimaru finally dies, but this is late enough. Utage collapses too, but she killed enough. Everything is grouped up for Pinecone, and she shoots absolutely everything. I want to avoid that tentacle dying at any cost, because they don't have much left. There's only one tentacle. Thankfully Deep Cower Swan comes back up in time and keeps it alive against the slugs. Adds the final wave, all the enemies are dead now, and now we just need to deal with the boss. And the endless waves of slugs of course. For now we wait until Utage and Moose are back up. Matuimaru box the boss again. Moose and Utagi have higher DPS than Tentacles, so it's safer. Then Deep Cover Slugs. Sorry, Tentacles Deep Cover. We retreat Deep Cover and ha have her help push the bomb. I kind of mess it up and spawn a million Slugs, but Pinecone deals with them fairly easily. This mostly just delays me and wastes a bunch of time, but we make it through regardless. Once the boss dies for a fourth time, probably. Now, once the boss enters phase 2, he always goes back to the start and has his full route. You have a massive amount of time to set up, you can redeploy all your operators however you want. 
we don't deploy Motimaru, we wait until the boss walks out of the tile. We want him to be fully on the bottom tile, so that when he spawns slugs, he spawns them on Motimaru. That way Moose doesn't get distracted by slugs. You can see where they spawn. Perfumer plus Motimaru will die eventually, but it takes a long time with Moose's debuff. The bombs themselves are fairly useless, they make the boss vulnerable for a very small window, but he's still a tanky boss with 100,000 health, so I can't do much to him. But this is a very long style, so I'll still use them. Because we have 6 bombs in total, so that's about 30% of his health, even without any other damage. We only die because eventually the boss will hit while the moose debuff isn't applied. Maybe someday we'll get the model where Moose has 100% uptime. But not for now. I am afraid of deploying Utage because I don't know exactly when I'll need her. So now we essentially wait until Matuimaru dies. While Pinecone one shots all of the slug waves. Or two shots rather. One of the slugs is always a bit slower, so I just need to wait for, wait for that slug to enter range properly. After a long stall, Matuimaru finally goes down for the first time. And we switch to tentacles. The boss using his skill gives us time to reset the tentacle. And after two tentacles, Utagi comes in. She can tank a bunch of hits. Because when he uses his skill, she gets a ton of time to regenerate. Once she's dead, we use another tentacle to delay the redeploying Motimaro, and then we retreat deep cover too. She pushed all the bombs in, and we kept repeating the same cycle until the boss died. I'd show it, but it's more of the same. 